Uh, it's your boy Max Rod back with some fishing planet. Still out here messing with my my uh, pro anglers bundle. Got me a four foot crankbait out here trying to chase down some uniques. Really trying to chase down a little money. Uh, Y'all looked at my video yesterday. Whoops. Uh, they ripped me on my day. Yesterday, I fast forwarded it to 11 o'clock. And it was this day right here. It was this one right here. And so I fast forwarded to 11 o'clock. And when I did, it changed to this. So I got to just fish. I'm just going to go out for bass. Something I can for sure catch. And, uh, skip on to the next day after I get my little 154 pounds. Because I really need that. I don't need to just get mad at the game and not fish like I need to. And not get my money. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do real quick is jump off in here. And, and I want to bring in at least... 4,000 out of this stage because that's how much it took me to get here. I want to actually try to do that and get more before my license expires sometime tonight. But I, it's not a must. It's a must that I stay here and get over that amount of money because my um, that looked like a different fish right there. Doesn't look like a bass. That looks like a, uh, yeah, a gar. Hey, that'll work. That's a big enough, uh, keep net. We'll keep it. We'll, we'll keep all the fish we catch. That's good. Good, uh, level up. Don't really <coughs> care about a leveling up right now. I do, it's money. But what's on my mind right now is uh is my pose still. I still really really, really dig my little old bundle I got. Um I'm gonna have to do some finessing in it. But at being a level eighteen and not with much money, it gave me a big set of poles. I I, I I don't care what you say, it's a nice setup. It's it's gonna take me to do some of my own figuring out to uh, get to use everything. Since it was a bundle, it came with a lot of lures. And uh, a lot of the lures, really all of them, some of the stuff I left at home, which it was uh, barbless stuff. <laughs> and I left a whole pole and then I really wonder what size that pole is because I got these poles. I need a middle area. They're from like two or three pounds to like 15 pounds. That's the first two. And then my second two, they're just humongous, way big, like 50 pounds. And so I don't have a middle area. And actually, it's the same with the weight, like the lure that it carries. You know how you have a lure weight? I got some that don't carry up to an ounce. I keep saying a pound. I don't know why I was saying pounds. Uh, up to an ounce. I mean, like right before I got to my first two poles, the smaller ones there, they can hold up almost under about three quarters of an ounce. What the hell is that? Oh, wow, I am pulling everything out of here, guys, with this stuff. <laughs> I got a gar, a bass, a freaking flathead catfish. Golly, this is all right right here. Look how easy I pull that thing in, too. Look at the XP. That's not a lot of XP for me pulling in that fish, though. I can tell you that right now. But for this character, he's... Yeah, that's just not a ton of XP. I could lure it down and, uh, uh, oh, that's an ugly cast, but I went out there. I could lure it down there. Wait, but that's the thing. 
I don't, I, that's all the pose that I have. I have humongous or very, very tiny. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a middle area. And so I got one more pole at the house. And that might be the one I was, you know, that I need. And I want to, it's just what pole am I going to put up? Because I need a float pole. I only can carry five miles. Since no one sees your, um, your, what do you call it? Your, uh, that's another. Uh, yeah, your rod case. Since nobody sees, actually looks at your rod case. Because it's not on the string. I mean, on the screen. I really want to go in and buy that seven case rod case. I really do. Why? I have no idea because it probably costs way too much money. But that's what I really, really want to do. And that way I could have all my poles. And the thing about that, though, is that um, I just want stuff in this game. So I might not need that seven real case. I could just finesse it without it. <laughs> I guess it really depends on how much it costs. So that's why I need to sit here and really get my fish on. Because I could slap seven poles. Um, yeah. But they cost, man, they cost, but I got a couple of poles still at the house that, that I want to put them in. I don't necessarily have to buy. I might, I could buy one pole, I know that. And that's a maybe. I need a big uh, float pole. The pole, I only got one float pole, and it's, it's about, an, I don't even think it's a 10 pounder. I got those Tello floats at home, and they're, they suck. <clears throat> And I know the other pole that I have for this, it's a bait caster. So, you know, that's not a floater. It's, and I really want to add it just because I like bait casters. But this right here, the uh, the reel on here, that right there, that's nice. I like those. That's kind of how my bait caster looks, except it's just shaped different. It's got that pole in the, in the front that's spinning left and right. It's got that little eye that your uh that's spinning left and right. It's got an eye in it that your line goes through. Uh, this right here though, it has a break on it right where his thumb is. But it, well, my bait caster does too. But no, it doesn't have a break. He, he's using this. No, it does. It's like a regular pole. You push it. But my bait caster, you push it, but you stop it with your thumb. And with this, I don't know if he stops it with this thumb. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I've seen these poles, but I haven't really fished with them. To me, I thought they were real big catfish pole. And I guess they might be, and you can catfish with lures, but I just never thought of it. So I don't really think that's what kind of pole this is, but it might be. Like we done slipped in there and got everything. Somebody told me they caught a flathead in front of this uh, truck. <clears throat> then somebody told me they caught a unique in front of this truck. And when they, whoever told me they caught a unique was a different person. So I asked them, was it? A catfish, he said he didn't know. I was like, what? What What do you mean you didn't know? You caught a unique and you don't know what the hell it was? So, I did not think catfish were over here around this truck. I, but I did at first, and then he told me, so I kind of changed my mind. I was like, no, there can't be catfish over here. But for, I just caught one in front of them rocks over there, though. So there is one over here, but I really like to fish around this truck to see what's hiding underneath it around it. And uh, I'm really feeling really good about being able to fish with crankbaits early in game like this. 
It really works for me. I like that. Man, after catching those couple of fish, we seem to dry this thing out. He's got my sports stuff on. That's what I'm talking about. Right up here, brother. I see your wrist right there. Come on. I can't see my shirt. I don't think that's what it is, though. See, I think that's what that is. What's up, fella? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, River Tech. I'm going to try to slip right past this old Trokita. Death party stuff you got. Be curious if these two lines is good enough or if I should go slower. And it seems to be pretty. Seems like slower doesn't catch fish as much as the faster, the little bit faster. But just crank be it. Got a little jab off in there somewhere. Well, I hooked to that truck, I might not be able to get off that truck. Wow, I can't believe there's nothing hitting it. Let me go down to one. Go a little slower through here. You like that? How he's wobbling? I like that. And at uh, at two lines, you don't wobble like that. Try to see if I get him to wobble again. Not a darn, not a darn. Okay, and I don't want to say the water gets very deep than that. Slap this bad boy on there, see what happens. Drop this back down, see if we can get a I can't get a good Yes, basically. Okay. 
having a feeling that is not how you do this tool. I wonder how it had it on the wrong thing, I think. Oh, good. That's a lot better. Something did hit it, though. I just didn't get it in. Uh, I really want to go somewhere down here and let it... Let it do something like that. But if it stays on the bottom, then there we go. Get up in the air. I gotta just try it one, see what happens. <coughs> yeah, I just had to try it one time. Nothing, huh? I could change the color to Not that blue one out there. Now we'll do some kind of pull in. Seem to keep it off the off the bottom. You know what? Let me give it a different. Let me give it a different puller. Let it flood it down on its own. There's a fish out there that keeps hitting it too. It feels like it might be a trophy or something. It's stuck on the bottom, I think. We hit it again right here, we'll know. Yeah, it seems like it's right in front of this bush too. This isn't gonna work. This tree is not happening. We're gonna do a little something different. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Alright, you gotta get up out of there. See, got a pole set up for this kind of issue. Number two and number three, I want to try out. Let's grab old number two first. See what this grub can do out here. Oh, put a little juice on it. 
because for sure this this grub supposed to move like this. That's why I like to use it. I can sweep the bottom. That's really why I like to use these kind of bait casting poles. Cause uh, you can feel stuff on the bottom. I don't know. It's like I can see underwater. Uh oh, bumped into the bush. Yeah, they treated me rough by snatching my day up like that. I have to figure out a whole new game plan here. Because, <clears throat> uh, I ain't going to say I can't catch fish, but it is a lot better catching fish in your good times compared to walking around trying to do whatever. I'm in the, oh, I'm in the right spot for, um, for some pan fish, though. I do believe so, so I could use my. Yeah, come on now, don't keep jumping off the line. Ooh, that's a big something too. Yeah, that's a nice, that might be a gar or something. Yeah, that's a nice something. Just got my pole crying out for help. Whoa, don't you jump off. Yeah, it might be a big catfish. Uh, no, nah, I don't know if catfish are over here. I know you, I can tend to find gar in some of the weirdest places, except where I want to find them, on this stage. That is a bass. It's a big bass. Yeah, that's a weak pole, I guess. Hmm. Keep that thing, that, that, that joker. It's pulling it pretty good. And a dang on pole I got here. Three to ten pounds. Eight pounds. Uh -huh. Do that again. That was all right. Let's grab that again. Got to hit right out the door too. Shoe. So when they hit it, they can they can they can hit it. There's something right out them bushes. Uh, makes me feel like there's something in those bushes over there too. Hmm. Dang it. It takes a wee bit of finesse to get them with this. Because they don't want to bite it real good. You get pops out their mouth sometimes. But it takes a wee bit of work sometimes to get these fish on here. I, it, something hit me right when I jumped in the water over here. Oh, got it. Giving us some big, big pulls. We got here. There we go. Yeah, I was giving them some big fast pulls. And that worked a little bit better than that bouncing across the ground. We'll practice a little bit more though. Because I, <coughs> I haven't fished with a lot of groves, but... I was told that they work like crazy. And that's what I think of. I do believe there's some 
Because I always think conspiracy type. I always think that. Like, compare, like when you get these baits, you don't have to buy live baits anymore would lose because you don't have to spend a lot of money so I, like i've seen actual fish on here that, that they don't they don't eat any lures they just want your baits but i think you know what i'm saying that i don't know that's what i'll try to finesse all the the lures i can to see if i can use mainly lures even with those catfish they're 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 hard for me to catch them, but it's because I don't know how to catch them with, you know what I'm saying, with the uh, the lure with the lures. I can catch them with bait like crazy, but anybody can do that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to catch them with for free all day. And like I say though, I got up to California, and that's the first place that I've ever lost lures i lost two of them up there so far like whoa holy crap and i mean pink popped them off like how you just lift up your drag a little bit and pull shit snap i was like whoa all right all right okay wasn't, wasn't ready for that Try something else. One, two, three. That did not work at all. Oh, uh, no love. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Got that little thing going crazy. Can't catch a fish like that. There we go. See, like that's that to me. I don't know. I like finessing, trying to, anyways. Trying to, anyways. <coughs> That's what kind of makes the game fun for me. I gotta keep something on my mental, or because there's not there's goals in here, but they're hidden goals. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to get to level 40. That's not a. That might not be on people's mind just to do. People, it's on people's mind to catch that certain their favorite fish to get to that level and once you get to that level and catch your favorite fish you're like okay I'm done with this game I don't know if anybody and then I mean you played again but that's how you get broke is that you get to not planning to fish and you buy those expensive license and you fish for one day and don't really use your license oh ho, 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 he jumped off and that's why I'm gonna try to stop doing. I'm gonna try to. I seen him swimming with you. I'm gonna try to uh, can start using my license the best way I can. If I'm not really gonna plan on sitting back fishing, then I'm gonna play a different game. Just cause it it it, it gets me like that. Especially up, up, up in those higher levels. That eight thousand dollars for a license. That's you better sit back and get that money back. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I fish for a little bit and get the hell out of there. Cause like I say, I be, I be wanting to catch a different fish. I be wanting to do something different so bad. So, like right now, what did I say I want to fish, two and three? Right now, yeah. Uh, before I leave here, I want to fish for some, um, some panfish. I might as well.
Sure, if I stop bull corn it, I can catch some bass. Text people. We'll take it. by this bush that'll jump on here. I should get a bite anyway. Say stay at ten, stay at ten. That's why stay at ten, damn it. It's easy. You press up and down, and then let you do it. It's not letting me do it. That's fine. Let's get that hand so we can. Bam. something with my house today. I don't feel like doing it. But I didn't get my butt up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't get my butt up to go to work today. So I need to do something with myself. Oh, snatch my bit. How about this? Let me see. Five to twelve pounds of fish at sea. I got uh in these packages. I got the best of the stuff. I do reckon and so I do got to get in between some weights for some poles. That's why I want to grab that seven pound pole thing because uh, this can catch panfish, but. It starts at three pounds, so I might have a little hard time catching, you know, ground fish. Let's see. 
Um, I think there's a non-poke carry on this game, isn't it? It's a little much, but... With these poses, I don't think I'm going to have to buy a lot of other poses. Happen. You get scared, you get nervous. Oh, okay. <laughs> I look like it might not be too much of a problem using there. It ain't much of a problem if I don't catch nothing, but. Those little things. Slip on in here a little bit. Tell you what, uh, what about all that missing fish? I don't know about all that missing fish crap. Tighten it up a little bit or something. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> It's like I got a little sense about myself. Yeah, yank it up. It's all right. You can have it. Whatever you is. Uh, don't be another little shot. Like, give me little things be f kicking, boy. Like he's kin to a bass or something. Get over here on this side. This is a good way to get um, some gold coins, though. Especially if I released them. And use all of If I could keep, actually, uh, keep, um, hit, get hitting them and not losing any. Oh. Do some of those challenges that's on here. Snatch up quite a few gold coins sitting right here. Yeah, you suck. I wish they'd let me do that, but we'll just go in here and do it. Oh no, I went back in there. Um, either this is going to be the difference in what I catch. I think it is, because I like this number six hook. I can catch all kinds of uh, pan fish with the number six hook, not just necessarily those little shiny. So I'm going to say it's our depth. And I could be wrong, but we're going to see. I, mean, I, I want to catch a blue or whatever they call it. Red here? I can't remember what's in here. Whoa, well, I was almost not ready for that one. Look, that's another one of those dang on things. That might be just what they eat. Let's see what else we can fish with. I don't need a bag full of those things. <laughs> I think I got some natural eggs or spawn checks or something in here. I like to catch that bad boy. Blood worms or something. That's what I was talking about, bluegill. 
We got some carp in here. Crickets. Golden shanty. I don't even eat worms. Damn it. That's what I was talking about too. Pumpkins. Maggots, red worms. Anything really. Red there got a unique on that. So I want to try some crickets real quick. Look at yonder. Crickets and blood worms, I think, is what we're going to look at. I only got one damn pole, too. That sucks ass. I, could, I like to put two of them together. And, uh, actually, no, my poles, they don't take both. That's the problem. Close all this down so I can deal with it a wee bit better. Yeah, slap some crickets on that bad boy. Let's see if we can reach out here and touch something different. There we go, it did it now, it's done it now. The crickets bring us a different fortune. Oh, really backwards and everything. What is going on here? Tighten up. We're getting hit already. Feels like a different kind of hit, too. It don't feel like one of those little golden shanties. Way different kind of fish than that. Could be wrong, but it did feel like something different. Whatever it is, I gotta catch it. I wanna work on getting my. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Oh, and I got him. That's what I might sit here and do, just cause I got time to fish. There we go. There's something different on there. He's worth less than that other fish. I might need to get go back to. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to do my challenges while I'm right here. Uh, what? Win credits by getting in it. Uh, competitions. Perch. Crappie. Votier. Uh huh. It's in the same, but no, I broke one of my other walleyes. Catfish need two more catfish for a gold coin. Panfish need two more of those. Bass, of course, I already did that, huh? Pike, a couple more pike. This right here, a lucky bobber. Successful strikes in a row. 21, ooh. That's hard too, 21. Trophy Gunther. But that's what we're gonna try to do. Get some gold coins while we're in here. 21, that's, that's, that's not an easy thing to do. I got all the rest of them obviously already because it doesn't start at 21. Starts way lower than that. I can't remember like seven or something in a row, but it don't start at 21. You work your way up to 21. They give you cool items. Oh my goodness, I almost lost that one. I finally got 21, I think, on my other character, but I've been trying on this one. And this, this spot right here is one of the best spots to try it because, uh, there's just a lot of panfish right here. And panfish are about the easiest thing to catch. Well, I wouldn't really say the easiest thing to catch, but they, to me, they are in some circumstances. A lot of fish sometimes tend to just bite the hook. And you don't even have to keep hooking. He's just on there. And so that's easy, too. But for some reason, I don't know. I like to try it over here because it's a... Uh, 
I do it in my down times. I tend to think about my challenges when there's nothing else to do. Okay, that's enough, brother. Let's go a little deeper. Let's hit 20. Let's see what we can find at 20. I think I went on ahead and put the rest of my hooks in my bag too. So I might have a few different size hooks. Just might. Tighten up. There's another car for that. I'm gonna fish for that unique carp right over here since I can't seem to get away from him. Let's see if we can catch him. to do the math on pan fishing for 154 pounds of pan fish. If you can break up in the thousands since they're like, they don't really weigh a pound or nothing. I don't know, it might be a stupid idea, but it might be worth the math. Feels like a little gold shiner right there. Ah, uh, you see that? Messed up my little old thing already. That was my sixth or seventh, but that's how the cookie crumbles. Give me a, 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 a right float pole. I might do a little bit better. Concentrating over here and see if I can get him. There we go. Tighten the whole line up. Tighten the whole line up. All right. Is your little unique friend in here? Are you hanging with someone you should not be hanging with? Oh, they like those crickets. Oh, skeleton. Last night that shit was scaring the crap out of me. Oh, it made me feel retarded. I'm not used to catching nothing different. And boy, those things were coming. I was like, what? I don't know. I'm a grown ass man and I was still scaring me. I think it's because I'm a real fisherman in the real world, and uh, if I pull something out of the water, it concerns me real bad, because I got that conspiracy theory stuff going on in my head. And so I, I, I don't even eat a lot of the fish I catch, because I don't think our water is the safest anymore. I, I do at the uh, at our lakes and things like that, but and that's probably worse than where well, I fish around here, but for some reason I, at our local parks and stuff, I think people don't care about littering anymore. They, they'll they litter in their own drinking water source and piss and shit in that, and so, and people want to play like that's just foreign people that do that. No, people in America don't give a fuck either. 
I don't know, so I try not to eat or something. I've caught some crazy shit. Like I fished with a uh, 60 pound uh, braid and that shit don't break easy. So if you get snagged on something down there, you're pulling it out if you want to or you can cut your line. I'm usually pulling it out. I've pulled some crazy stuff out the water. Like, oh man, and you gotta eat that, eat the fish that swim around that? Like, nah. Mm -mm. Nah. But I remember when I was a kid, though, the water was, uh, I don't know. I, I, to me, I feel like it's hard to think that things have changed that much. The world is probably used to us now. We've been here as humans for a long time, so. I don't know why I think our generation is just, just so filthy. When we're not the first and we're definitely not the last generation. But to me, I don't know, I just, like some catfish I catch, they look so crazy. I'm like, hell no. Hell no. I would not eat it. <laughs> and I, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I hate to be like that, but I'm like that. Like catching fish and they got spots, unnatural sores on them and stuff like that. There's that's parasites and stuff. I don't. It, people need to. So, okay, no, it's not. We very seldom get a fish and go through his intestines to see if there's any parasites in them. We slide the guts out and eat the damn, eat the meat. So yeah, when I see a fish with abnormalities on it, I. Uh, a little cautious. So yeah, I think that's probably why when I see that skeleton fish on here, it scares me all the time. Like, oh! <laughs> I feel like a puss. Like, man, toughen up. Buck up, Bart. Okay. I understand, I understand, but I want you're unique, but he. <clears throat> That's very deep on that wall over there, is it? Pull him out a wee bit. Not very deep right there, is it? There we go, he's getting hit right there. I hate waiting when my barber's crooked. And I've been hit a lot while my barber's crooked. It's just to me the odds are better if it's it's a lot easier to to lift your uh oh wow. Yeah, that's crap. I wanna go up some more too. I'm gonna go to twenty five. Put it a little bit out here. The water doesn't seem 25, yeah, close. Let's see, it's in the hit, even though it's sitting cricket. Well, I can't naturally say that's the bottom either, I, you know, I don't know, it could be some brush, I don't know. Try a different bait. Put that little dill ball in there. And I gotta get up and clean up my house. It's a mess. This is not really a mess. I just got a few things I need to do to keep the mess from happening. Uh oh, that's something way different. Nah, uh, yeah, skeleton fish again. Come on, skeleton fish. Hi, right, it's enough. Oh, well, I guess that's not enough skeleton fish. Thank you. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
And I'll take that. That's what I like about doing that is that it gives you stuff. I wanted to give me some dang on boots though. I haven't seen anybody with a pair of boots on yet. I really think they should implement a, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, a wardrobe on here, but that's going to take a lot, man. And they, this game isn't necessarily about clothes. I honestly think, too, because I read it, that, uh, I wonder if if it increased my odds in in um in uh in contests because it said a lot about when you're in contests down here. So I wonder if it'll give me a sm small bit of luck, even because I think that uh, I I really wanted to start a new character and do it so I could kind of cheat in those lower contests and that's probably what I should have did because I am at a higher level right now that uh no not really because like I say it costs money to buy all the poles you need and what I did I didn't do that I, I went on ahead and bought um what do you call it uh a bigger keep net first and so, and, you know, but a lot of reels, that it never could hurt, you know what I'm saying? And now I probably only need, like like I say, I, I can make it with these poles. Take a little finesse, and it's just I want more stuff. You know how that store is on here. It's like a candy store. But I do need a bigger float pole. What is that? That little thing is everything. Let's go ahead and put a bigger hook on here. I don't think I really have one. I said I brought one. But I was thinking that I can't really remember if I did or not. No, nope, I sure didn't. I sure didn't. I got the biggest one I got. That's the smaller. A 10 would be a very small one. And a 1 would be big. And then this is a small one, and my six would be a huge one. I'm pretty sure y'all know that, but I always like to rerun it across just in case. Uh, let's slap a one out on there and see if we can do some really weird stuff. Like how'd that happen? I don't know, but it happened. I don't remember what said it eats those, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway. Look up. Oh, the water is not very deep at all out there. I bet it is. I want to say there's a channel out there. It's got to be somewhere. Using this uh, float technique as a way to find it. Just throw a cross and reel it in. So I think I'm going to do. Let's see what I'm missing out here. You can look at the ground over there and know that right there is not going to be very deep because it's not a, it's a, it's kind of a deep slope, but not very much deep. Holy crap. I, uh, I take that back. That is very deep over there. I guess the ground slopes down way more than it looks. Dang. Let's pull it back and see where it starts. Going to different. I guess it just might be a hole right there. So I'm gonna put a minnow in that hole. 
Because right there it's still crooked a little bit. Right there it's still crooked. Yeah, that's crazy. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, I wanna slap a minnow on that thing. Barber will sink, of course, yeah, yeah. A grasshopper might work too. But, uh, minnows are, uh, I just like minnows because they move. Let's me know if something's over there or not. So I get to running. If you can see the ground, it is a dip right there. Right off in here, you see that dip? That might have been where I was. We're going to see. We're going to see. Watch it not really be a hole right there. Look, and it is a hole. It is a hole. It's crazy. Makes me want to go deeper. I'll give it a few seconds. I'm gonna go deep and see how deep that hole is. That actually. Is that that spot where we catfish from right there? Yeah, and it just looks small from over here. Thing is not doing nothing either. I'll have to sit there and watch it like that, but I'm gonna go and bring it in because I will sit there and watch the thing. Slide out of here one more time. There's something over there, man. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Let's go 48 yes, seven. Yeah, I got to figure this out.
gonna elude me. I don't really ain't saying nothing down there, but that is a hole out of nowhere. In a spot where water is not that darn deep. Like he had a little rat in him, but I don't think so. Kind of looks like he's running a little bit. They're just moving. They'll, they'll, they'll shine. They'll get to moving. They get to running. They'll run. They just don't do it too often, don't seem like. They'll stay real still. Yeah, some some come up out of there and get after him. He'll get to swimming. But yeah, I don't think there's nothing after him. Just think he's in there hanging out. Try to keep my old finger on the panic switch. I see that weed patch right there leads me to think it might be a gar hole right there. And the um the deep part is probably longer than where I'm at. What's up, Diddy O? Mike Diddy O? Like he's running, but I don't know about that. Be sure and nice to get the old jab, though. I just think you're swimming now. Like I say, they'll, they'll run. Maybe we'll be able to see him run here in a second. Those shiners do move slow.
Yeah, no. See what it says. Didn't say we moved away from a fish, did it? I'm gonna poke this guy in the eye with my fishing pole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, I didn't, I couldn't do it. My dude put his pole up. He's like, I don't do that. That's not very nice. My bad. Hey, this is where I was. Hang out here for a few more minutes. I actually want to leave this place. But there's no real reason to. I actually need to just get my ass up and go clean up my living room and my... All I really need to do is clean my living room. Go in here and cook something to eat. I'm freaking starving. <coughs> so there's a little fishing for you fellas. Come back. We'll continue some fishing here later on in the day. With my new bass pro angler. I mean my pro angler bundle. I like it. I like it. So we're going to go on. I got that right there at the his house. And all right, fellas. Uh, appreciate you guys chiming in. Peace out.